Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Linux Mint 21.3 versus Linux Mint 22. We'll be taking a look at them side by side to see the differences and similarities. As always, I'll include a timeline, so feel free to skip to a particular section that may appeal more to you. With that being said, I'm going to kick off the installers for each. I'll see you on the other side. Just real quick, to keep them separated, I'm going to go ahead and change the wallpaper on the Linux Mint 22 install. Yeah, went in the wrong thing. Uh, change desktop. Here we go. We'll make it green. Just so we can um, see the difference. So, Linux Mint 22 will be green. Linux Mint 21.3 will be black. Okay, we made it to the login screen on both. Um, if we look underneath the sessions, we do have support for Wayland on 21.3 as well as the new 22. But I've noticed there's still artifacting around the windows. So for this video, we'll be using X11 sessions. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into both. And on the 22, I'm going to go ahead and change the background to green just so we can tell there's a difference between 21.3 and 22. So 21.3 is black, 22 is green. And then what we'll do is we'll just close out of these. We'll open updates and we'll see what we've got here. So 21.3, we've got to update the update manager to where on 22 it's so new that the update manager is already up to date. So we'll go ahead and update the manager on 21.3. And then I'll just bring these side by side so I can zoom in here. And go ahead and install updates on both.
All right, it looks like on both I'm getting an error message at the end of that, so let's close out of here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shut both down, boot them back up. We'll do a speed test on the reboot to see which one restarts quicker. All right, and we've installed the updates. I've restarted, so now let's bring up the terminal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a shut down slash R for reboot, and then it's 9.33, so I'm gonna do 9.34. I'm gonna do this on both sides. Shut down R, 9.34, enter, enter. And I do this to make it fair, right? there. The time was 9.33, so I put it 9.34 in the future, so they're both restarting exactly 9.34 and neither have updates pending, so this should be a fair test. Okay, and sticking with the welcome screen on both, they both have the driver manager. This is what you would go into if you had an NVIDIA card. You'd go in here and you'd select the one that is applicable to you. Okay, and sticking with the welcome app, we'll go back in and we'll go to the desktop colors to look at the themes. Does look like they've got the exact same. I'm just gonna switch to dark. And on the 21.3, we'll stick with blue. And on the 22, we'll go green. What's under advanced here? Yeah, so it looks the same. And then you've got the simplified settings. Yeah, so pretty much identical from 21.3 to 22. All right, let's take a look at the system monitor. And then we go to resources. And as you can tell, the resources look identical. 1.2 gigs of RAM and around 7% CPU. Okay, let's take a look at HTOP. And neither one comes pre-installed with it, so we'll go ahead and do a sudo apt install HTOP. Type in our super secret password. Go ahead and run that. Okay, CPUs between one and two. Zero and four and five, there's a little spike. And then the RAM is 940 on both. So pretty similar as well. All right, let's take a look at the file manager. On the Linux Mint 21.3 side, we've got Nemo 6.0.2. On the Linux Mint 22 side, we've got Nemo 6.2.3. All right, let's take a look at system settings. And what I wanna take a look at here is the system info. Comparing 21.3 to the new 22. So we've got the cinnamon version of 6.0.4, and on 22 it's 6.2.4. The Linux kernel is 5.15, and then on the new 22 it's 6.8.0. The display server, like I said, we're using X11 because Wayland just isn't there yet to make a video about. Once the artifacting around the windows, once that's resolved, then I can start using Wayland on these videos. But yeah, that's just a comparison of the system settings. All right, let's take a look at extensions. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but when it was caching those downloads, it was one of 29, so it doesn't look like they've got the exact same list here. I'll just scroll to the bottom quickly to make sure. Yep, looks like they're all the same. So the extensions are the exact same. All right, let's take a look at the package manager. And we'll see what version it's installed on both. So 21.3 has Synaptic 0.90.2 to where the new version 22 has version 0 0.91.3. All right, let's take a look at system reports. So that's the little icon that shows up next to your update shield after you install. 
And I didn't pick the multimedia codex when we were doing the installations on either. I'm just going to ignore that report. It's, it looks the same on both sides, 21.3 and 22. And then the system restore utility. Of course, you can set that up if you'd like. I'm not going to because this is just for video purposes. So yeah, system reports looks exactly the same on both sides here. Of course, the system information is going to be slightly different. Crash reports. So yeah, looks fairly similar. All right, let's take a look at what version of Firefox is installed. I'd imagine these are the same because we did the system update, so we'll just go in here and check. All right, on the Linux Mint 22 side, we've got 128. And on the Linux Mint 21.3, we got 128. So yeah, they're identical. All right, let's check out the software center. So if we go to software manager, both. And one of the claims is on version 22, it opens up much faster. So we'll see what it looks like. And this is the first launch, so we might, I might let these cache and then we'll launch again to see if there's any speed increase on 22. All right, and now that both of these have cached, let's go ahead and launch them again. So software manager, software manager. Yeah, I really couldn't tell the difference, but we'll go to about both. And we're using uh, the Mint Install Software Manager 8.2.9 on the 21.3 and Mint Install Software Manager 8.3.1 on the Linux Mint 22. And if we are to, if we wanted to install software, we can just use Inkscape as an example. Looks like you get a slightly newer version of Inkscape on the Linux Mint 22 side. So let's click on install on that. Type in a password. It looks like the experience is the same on both. You just get a little bit newer version. Of course, that's to be expected on the Linux Mint 22 side. Okay, we'll compare NeoFetches on both. So the kernel on the Linux Mint 21.3 side is 5.15. The kernel on the Linux Mint 22 side is 6.8. And that's gonna be based off of the Linux Mint 21.x series was based on Ubuntu 22.04. LTS to where the new Linux Mint 22 is based off of Ubuntu 2404 LTS. So that's where the kernel differences come from. Package wise, it looks like uh, 21.3 has a few more packages installed by default. So 2145 versus the new Linux Mint 22 only has 1919. Bash version, slightly newer on 22. So uh, bash 5.1.16 versus bash 5.2.21. And of course we've got the desktop environment. Linux Mint 21.3 has 604. The Linux Mint 22 has 6.2.4. And the memory usage is about the same sitting here idle. I'll normally compare release cycles when I'm doing the distribution versus videos, but this is just 21.3 versus 22. When Ubuntu 22.04 LTS came out, that's when we got the 21.x series. Now Ubuntu 24.04 LTS has come out, so now we've got the Linux Mint 22. So it doesn't really make sense for me to compare the release cycle. This is just an older version of Linux Mint and the newer version of Linux Mint. And I'll just quickly touch the wallpapers here. On the 21.3 side, of course, we've got the point releases with their code names, and you can run through those. And on the 20, the new 22, it's code name Wilma, so it's got the uh, point release there with all the new wallpapers under it. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Here's some more videos that you may find helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.